We'll kick off with some sad news about a British fighter in Ukraine, Andrew. Yes, this is Scott Sibley, who, as you saw, appears on a number of the front covers uh, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this is very sad. This is um, um, a British soldier. Used to, had served in Afghanistan, went out to fight in Ukraine. Not, uh, not as part of the British Army. I mean, I suppose no. we should emphasise that. It's obviously this is not a... a uh... We have not crossed that line. No, absolutely. In fact, yeah. the Foreign Office has said explicitly they don't yeah. want people to go out and fight. Yeah. Although there has been some confusion because Liz Truss mm. said she uh, unequivocally supported those who did. So there's, yeah. that's a sort of separate issue. In regard to Scott Sibley, 36 years old, a father, uh, he's, he's the first confirmed uh, British individual who's been killed in mm. this, in this uh, conflict. Uh, of course, there's been lots of tributes coming in uh, now, by all accounts. Do we uh, have any you know, idea how many uh, British... In well, independent individuals have gone over there. Uh, well, I mean, you, interestingly, the Russians have published a list of a hundred what they call British mercenaries. Yeah, yeah. who are out well, I guess there. That is and fair enough, that's probably the correct term. It just carries well, a bit of a taint, but uh, it implies pay, you're being paid to do yes. it, and I don't think that is soldiers the case. of so, fortune. Then you've got money. Yeah, so so I mean, I, I imagine there are uh, a fair few, and Scott Sibley is the first. Yeah, uh, one who is who is being killed. But um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, very very sad. It's sad. Anything to add to that, Eric? No, I mean, it's, it's awful. I mean, for the Russians to talk about mercenaries when they were bragging at the beginning that they were going to mm. bring in a bunch of Syrian soldiers oh, yeah. is a bit rich, of course. Well, it is but... funny how, I say, is it funny? It is uh, curious how there is a taint that attached, attaches to mercenaries. I think mm. there are different cultures. There are different uh, empires which have been built entirely with mm. mercenary forces, and they are often regarded as being superior to conscripted soldiers. I mean, there is an argument that they're a far more moral way in which to, you know, to support your territorial ambitions, if, if that's what you want to do, to, to hire men who understand the, the, uh, the risks yes. and, uh, and are being amply rewarded for taking those risks rather than to get a bunch of 19-year-olds yeah, and sure. lure them into the idea that this, them. you know, yeah. say, I mean, God, none of it's very pretty, is it, at the end of the it's day? Not. But Scott Sibley obviously knew what he was doing. He's, yeah. he's, he, uh, he's, of course. Uh, you know, and he's, uh, he's to be, um, be honoured. Well, it goes. I mean, it goes some way. It's a testament to the strength of feeling behind this that people are going. I mean, yeah. there were similar. There were yeah. people who went out to fight against ISIS, of course, as well. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, yeah. it's it's clearly this was a passion to him. Yeah. And, uh, you know.